for, for either of you, for both of you, I guess, uh, what would working defensively for you guys tonight? Ball pressure. Um, we were getting up in them. We were trying to stay stay aggressive, create turnovers. I think we forced 22 turnovers for them. Uh, well, 21. So um, you know, coming in, into this game, Coach Walls was talking about ball pressure. That was key for this game. We were trying to speed them up a little bit, and I think we did a good job doing that. Asia, you had the most minutes of anybody on the team tonight. So how is the ankle? Are you in good shape with it? It's good. Um, you know, one game at a time. Whenever you know my team and Coach Walls need me to do, I'll I'll be glad to do that. So um, you know I'm just trying to take it one game at a time and just play hard and have fun. You guys are one game away from conference championship. In the back of your head, mm -hmm. more pressure added on. Final game tonight. Um, no, I don't think so. We just got to keep coming out and playing basketball. Um, Yes, this is a big thing for us um, because it's been a long time since we have won a conference championship. But we got to come out and play hard like we would do every game. Eric, you just played a long time with that fourth foul out there. Were you being a little bit cautious? Um, no, I feel like I kept playing hard. Um, I just had to kind of adjust to the ref, the refs and what they were calling. But I felt like I, I kept playing hard and did what my team needed me to do. How frustrating was it for, well, for anyone to answer? How frustrating was it when you had some good looks that seemed like they were going in and just bounced out or bounced away? I mean, it gets kind of frustrating, but you can't let that dictate, you know, how you play. You just got to keep playing hard. You know, it's a team sport, but uh, we had some great looks. We had some really good looks, and uh, we'll be sure to knock those down on Sunday's game. A little bit of that Sunday, it's a it's going to be a very special day for Maisha, just your, your remembrances and your reflections on her over the years, both of you, if you would. Um, it's been fun playing with Maisha. She's come a long way. Um, obviously, she didn't play as hard as she does now before, and it's been great to see her grow as a player, especially me being here all four years with her. It's been great to see her grow. You know, I would say the same thing that she said. You know, she's continued to get better and better at as a player, um, you know, I'm so excited for her and what her future holds. Um, she's very talented. She's a great person. You know, I'm just so excited for her. Eric, what, um, you know, coming in at that same time, where do you feel like she's grown the most? Um, like she um, honestly, defensively, I think she's grown the most and running the floor. Um, when she came in her freshman year, she didn't run hard all the time she picked and chose and defensively she didn't play defense like people were making up for her and now I think she actually takes pride in it and will get down and guard. Uh, I guess in, her, in terms of her personality too, where, where do you feel like she kind of came out of her shell? What helped her kind of come out of her shell? A bit? Um, just confidence from her coaches knowing that her team will listen. Um, she's done a great job of trying to lead and actually speaking up. Before, she wouldn't do that. But now she does speak up when something needs to be said, and people will listen to her. Erica, the, la the last three games, it seems like you're a lot more confident in shooting the ball. Do you, are, are you more relaxed, or um, is it my imagination? No, I think I am because of my teammates. Um, they just keep instilling confidence in me and telling me to knock it down. and. When you feel that vibe from your teammates, it's, it's so much easier and so much more fun.